What's going on everybody out there? And a special shout out to my Jared Tones. I love y'all and I love everybody. So if you don't know who I am, I'm gonna tell you who I am right now. I am Jaren. I am a voice teacher, speech trainer, and the founder and owner of this amazing studio, the Jaren M. LeGuerre Studio. So y'all, I'm excited to do this. I have not watched this yet because I was waiting to watch it with you all because I wanna do some more blind reactions on this channel. So I'm doing a blind analysis, if you will. So we're gonna analyze his voice, but I'm gonna react blindly too because I have not watched this because it just happened like an hour ago. So I'm excited to watch it with y'all. So as I always say, this is a much fun analysis and not a reaction. And though I'm reacting blindly, it's still going to be an analysis. So I'm going to start and stop a lot while the video is going on. So if you don't like starting and stopping and talking about things as they happen in the moment, then go on to another video. But if you don't like starting and stopping and talking about things as they happen in the moment, then stick around because this is the channel and the video for you. So y'all, let's get into it. No further ado, here is a voice analysis of Chris Stapleton singing the national anthem at the 2023 Super Bowl. By the dawns, he really has that nasal country sound to his voice. By the dawns, so you hear that soft palate is coming down, so the air is coming through the nose. By the dawns, early light, and the tongue is more flat here. By the dawns, it wasn't by the dawns, it was by the dawns. So the diphthongs are kind of rounded and migrated differently versus just kind of singing the song. By the dawns, it was by the dawns, early light. Oh, so proudly we hailed. Hailed. So he really used an AI diphthong and hailed. They kind of rounded out the L in that hailed. And did like a diminutive window, or like a day crescendo within the hailed. And it sounds like he almost kind of brought his lips in. Hailed. And it was really no D there. The D was pretty much omitted or lessened there, right? So it was hail, not hailed. Hail. At the twilight. At the twilight, he does a lot of those diminuendos and those decrescendos, just kind of tapering off in each word or each phrase. At the twilight, at least right here, he's doing it a lot. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fire. I love seeing ASL interpreters sign and show the passion behind the song, showing the passion behind the music that the artist is kind of rendering in that moment because ASL interpreters trying to also show how the artist is singing. So they're really painting a picture in their interpretation, you know? For those who don't know, I actually studied ASL in undergrad for quite a bit. I'm not certified in ASL by any stretch of imagination, but I know a little bit of ASL. So I love this kind of stuff when I see ASL interpreters. I've interpreted at church before and things like that in the past, you know? So I've done it before, but I'm not certified by any stretch of imagination. But that's one thing a lot of y'all don't know about me. Anyway, I love the ram. It was ram. It wasn't ram. His mouth was way more neutral. Oh, the ram, ram. You can hear a little bit of that grit that we're gonna talk about a little bit later, but it's really like a really warm slash gritty ram. Instead of ram, it was ram, ram. You see how my lips are kind of neutralized? Ram. That's kind of what he did right there. What's so good? We're so gallantly streaming. <laughs> you better sing, Chris. He fell off of that run so effortlessly. He was just such a nicely placed run right there. And I love hearing artists who sing like this and say, oh, I can do the runs too, but I don't gotta do them all the time. Oh, I can, I can let y'all know I got these runs and stuff, but I don't gotta do them all the time. Right there. The whole time, this was the first big run he did, but it was so flawless. <laughs> Whatever it was. <laughs> He better sing. And the rock is regular. Oh, my God. Sing it up. Yeah. He kind of opened up the R instead of air. He said air. Air. Something like that. So he kind of opened up and did a little nasal air. Air. Kind of like that. Whew. He is singing, okay? <laughs> yay! Yay! It's 
like a cool grit. It's not necessarily like a growl, but it's like a compression slash maybe a air friction thing in the glottis, something like that. Some kind of cool grit where he's compressing and letting the air kind of give that raw texture to his voice. Woo! That was good. That I play. hardly moving his mouth. He's hardly doing anything. If I was singing like him, like in terms of like trying to sing like that, like all the stuff that he's doing, I would be sweating. <laughs> you know, I would be trying my very best to do this. And he's like just playing the guitar and he's just singing. Oh, so good. That grit was on that free right there, then he let go of the vibrato on free and kind of had it more straight. Free! Like that. So he had that grit, stayed in that straight pocket right there in a straight note and kind of nailed it right there. I love how he's keeping this true to himself. He's just singing the way he normally sang. And this is the result. This is just good. And the That little lick right there was so nice. He only did one super elaborate run in terms of like just the complexity, but he did a lot of nice things in this. If you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted and give us a like and a thumbs up so it gets out to more people if you don't mind. <laughs> and as I always will say to you, be vocally bold, creative and aware, but most of all, be vocally you. All right, y'all, I love you. I'll see y'all soon.